What keeps you going when faced with seemingly never-ending or repeating challenges? In our last episode to round off 2023, we embraced festive boat life and Christmas traditions alike in our exclusive real-time Sailing Trinity Christmas special. We scavenged, crafted, shopped for decor, decorated Trinity, and indulged in Preveza's magical Christmas spectacle. The week before saw an entire season's recap from episode 1 all the way to 21. So if you're new here or you missed out on any of last season's content, head on over to our recap of the highs and lows of six months of sailing presented in a very digestible 20 minute video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Your support helps us greatly and means the entire world to the Trinity crew. And for those returning viewers, we can't thank you enough for joining us once again. Drop us a comment below and let us know how your new year has started. We love hearing from you guys. Moving on, regardless of the bounty of repairs done to Trinity this past season, a large percentage of issues still persist. This episode, we leave Professor Marina and travel right across the bay to Actio, Ionian and Cleopatra Marina's shipyards to get Trinity lifted out. And with the journey taking no more than five minutes, this will be a breeze. Except it wasn't a breeze at all. Rather, the breeze itself set us up for a few close calls first this morning. So there's no better wake-up call than stopping your vessel from colliding with boats. Where are you going? Concrete walls. I don't want to crash it. And pedestrians alike. Sorry buddy. Without further ado, let's dive right in and escape the ordinary together. It's a really nice morning here this morning. It's starting to get really quiet. Lots of boats have left the marina because they're all gone up on the hard for the winter. And it's really nice and calm. The sun's come up over the side, it's gorgeous. Every couple of days we've got people kind of breaking down their boat, taking down biminis and their panels and all sorts. And some people have obviously are going to stay here for the winter like we are. We had kind of a funny day today. We have to take Trinity out of the water. And with all the issues that we've had, we've had her resurveyed. There's more issues with our engine, so we haven't sailed her in quite a few weeks. We have her booked in for a week, so it's between one and five days. I think that she'll be getting some tests done on her. We have to stay in an apartment across in a different marina called Cleopatra. Hopefully, yeah, we can, we can find out what else has been <laughs> not going right with her. So yeah, it'll be a bit of a strange day seeing her going, coming out of the water. But while she's out, we're going to get some anti-fouling done and fiberglass fix when we had that gash a couple of weeks ago. Time for coffee, it is a beautiful morning. Bright and early for Trinity's TLC appointment, it was time to slip off from the marina's dock and get all hands on deck. First, in order to wake up said crew, coffee must be in order. Speaking of, thank you graciously to Wendy who bought us three coffees this week. For those wondering, we've just set up a Buy Me A Coffee page to give you an opportunity to support the channel in a new way. The best part? No sign up needed. Whether you're a one-time supporter or considering multiple donations, the choice is entirely yours. And with various payment options available, it's mega convenient. One coffee, ten coffees, with a personal message or with Without, you can contribute in any way that feels just right for you. If you enjoy the content and feel like giving back, this is just one more way you can do it. Cheers to our incredible Sailing Trinity community. See you over there. With coffee now consumed, let's check in with the crew. We're about to take off to pop the boat into the slip in Cleopatra Marina. For some reason, I have terrible anxiety <laughs> about the fact. I think it's potentially because I haven't left in so long. Anyway, let's set you up so you get a nice cheeky view. How does that sound? Yeah? <laughs> get ready to set that side, baby. It's all good? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I'll tell you when to sit. I'm gonna tell you. Okay, take your time. Okay, when you're ready, take slip. Watch your fingers. Side, Sharon, side with the fenders, baby. Okay, they're down here, yep. Yeah. Oh, Alright, relax then. Eh? Relax, though. Sharon, watch me with the other boats. 
coming over here this side yeah. <laughs> the wind has me that's up sorry buddy this I'm worried about the ropes under the keel. For some context, when ropes become entangled with keels and propellers during marina maneuvers, the consequences can be dire. The entanglement often occurs when lines are improperly secured and allowed to drift in the water, or in this case, when a poor exit maneuver leads vessels too close together. If these lines catch on a boat's keel or prop, they can quickly become snarled. The force of these entanglements can result in severe stress on the boat's structure, potentially causing keel, propeller, and hull damage. This not only poses a huge financial burden for repairs, but it also increases the risk of accidents and compromises the safety of both vessels and their crew. Boaters should exercise caution accordingly, both on and off their vessels. Now, understanding the root of our stresses this morning, let's get right back into them. why I felt so sick. For some reason, I have terrible anxiety <laughs> about the fact. It's that female intuition. I put this out. I'm just gonna stay up here until we get out, just to be safe. We finally left Preveza Marina, and regardless of the wind, undercurrent, and poor line slipping job, friendly seafarers kept us calm and helped us maneuver out safely into the marina's exit channel. It's now time to navigate our way across the bay to Ionia Marine. Let's check in. Well, anyway, at least we can get the prop stuck. It's close enough to it. Yeah, the rudder. You can see it. What was supposed to happen there was we're supposed to keep that line. I was driving forward with the thing turned that way. Yeah. And that whole boat would have went like this. It would have went like that. That's what it was for. to spring it at an angle yeah. and clear it. What happened was the line got stuck. I went over. It was still in neutral. Yeah. And the thing just went the direction of the wind. That's yeah. basically what happened. And that's my fault. I should learn. When we're springing off, when, and when we're docking, don't leave it. It's a very short distance. That engine's smooth. So it's this, this one is the Ionian, is it Matt? I'm not sure. If we get a bit closer, you'll see. There's a tree over here, isn't there? Yeah. Oh. Back to you. Where was that one? Ionian. Ionian. Yeah, it's a school day. <laughs> it's actually nice and calm now. We've all calmed our nerves. And we're on to the exit with him. Bloody happy. wind. <laughs> there is actually a little bit of wind. You can see, look at the head now. Look. Are you all right there, Captain? I'm fine. Good. <laughs> you all right there, Taylor? I mean, hey, all right is subjective. Guys, She's yeah. grand. Start getting ready for this. Yes, we can. Ionian Marina, Ionian Marina, Ionian Marina. This is second vessel Trinity awaiting lift out. Just wondering, is yours the red lift? Over. Yeah, look, Ionian Marina there in that sign behind that red lift. Right, let's do a bit of reversing. Find out how she's acting in the wind there. So I can see how the wind is affecting her at the moment. Rather than figure out when I get there. Can you tell us to come in? No, not yet. Obviously, the boat's coming. But you know you want us to come in, but not actually go into the lift. Is he waving? No, no. I think they're just talking to each other. Yeah. Just talking. Look, they say he's been calling it again. Like, you know, just take it to one of them. Yeah, I'd say go back out. As it is difficult to see with the camera positioning, let me explain what we're trying to achieve. We essentially need to position the boat in a way that allows us to reverse into this small body of water, timing it well enough so that the wind won't catch the bow or stern and cause the boat to swing rapidly out of position. Once we arrive, we must wait until the sling frame drives onto us, positions itself and lifts the boat out of the water. Currently, we have to circle the entrance to the marina until we're called in. They were behind schedule with an 
another boat. So we did this in total for about 25 minutes. As you can see, there are a lot of other boats around the entrance. This crowding, along with shallow depths and the wind, makes it difficult to maneuver skillfully into position. Where are you going? Thanks for waiting. Died. Here's a little recap and some perspective on what just occurred in case you're a bit confused. What you just witnessed there was us lining ourselves up pretty well after a few attempts to finally enter the body of water. As we were reversing in, another boat decided to enter the marina next to us uncourteously. This threw the boat off as the wind caught us and it made for an awkward entrance. Regardless, with lines ashore and secure, it's time for the crew to follow suit. Okay, well, we leave, we leave now. Right, okay. Get the bags, get the bags ready. Yeah. Yeah, and have to hand stuff over, I think, yeah? But open the gate, Taylor. There we go. That one's a little bit stiff, isn't it? It's a bit of WD, maybe. Come back, Taylor! Help your mommy! Kitchen sink with us. With the tech. A singular book. I mean, wow. So, bath is one again, lol. We should turn our channel into like a drinking game. Every time the engine or the bow thrust is cut out. <laughs> the boat's about to get put in the sling. The like only marine sling. Get excited. Well, it's so loud here. In a turn of events. There's some divers in front of us getting their dinghy, their tender, lifted into a truck. There's a lot going on. There she is. That looks so fun. Ooh. I've not been around this many vehicles in so long. Like even a car. It's been a while. Traffic jam! Here's the crane. It's gonna take Trinity out. Give her a wash. That's the army over there. They're not too happy about them doing that. She's getting like a sling underneath her now. 
A. Taylor over there videoing. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> I have no clue what they're doing. I'm observing, but I'm unsure. I mean, they're slinging her up, but like, I do not have uh, any breadth of understanding as to how this boat's being slung. Oh, it's happening! This is crazy. This is like the scene from Up. When he lifts his house up with the balloons. Except it's not balloons, it's a big scary red industrial frame. <laughs> it's sharing a likeness. Three! Two! One, lift off to infinity and beyond. Hope she goes, or maybe not. She is big. She's got a few barnacles on her, for sure. Well, she's a bit filthy, to be honest. She's a big girl. Look at the keel on her. Wow. Very unusual to see her from this. Really intimate. I feel like I'm like seeing her underneath. Trinity's getting naked, guys. Uh, on a Thursday. I mean, I feel like I should like look away, you know. <laughs> With Trinity finally in the sling and power washed, although our fender socks have seen better days, she's looking pretty fresh and all prepped for the next few days of work. On top of getting necessary lift out work done, we're also getting Trinity resurveyed, so hopefully we can address some of the major issues once and for all to prep accordingly for a safe and significantly less stressful 2024 season. As the survey and some more engine work is being done, we'll be staying in some basic accommodation offered by the neighbouring Cleopatra Marina for a few days. While Trinity gets checked into her space in the boatyard, it's time for us to do the same. Follow along. <laughs> Hello. We have arrived in our marina accommodation and um, to my pleasant surprise, it has a lovely balcony. I've been missing a balcony. Over the ship graveyard, you can see how many boats come here for the winter. Lovely little spot, let's see what the first and second mate are doing. There we have it guys, the beginning of our 2024 season prep is finally here as Trinity enters the famed Ionia Marina boatyard. This is the first of a few part series to come, detailing both the internal and external fixes, tweaks and complete renovations due to our lovely girl Trinity. Are you ready? We can't wait to escape the ordinary with you. See you there guys!